Okay, so I'm dealing with a problem with the video card uh, from my main work computer. This is it. It's a Zotac GTX 770. What's been happening is the fans have been getting loud, kind of a clicking noise, um, which gets worse as the video card heats up, like when I'm playing a game or something. But it also happens just when the computer's not doing anything. I've already tried taking off the shroud and running without it, just thinking that maybe the, uh, the blades were hitting the shroud but they're not. Um, so what I'm thinking is the uh, they're just worn out. There's quite a bit of a wobble there. I went ahead and bought some replacements, which I'm hoping will work. They seem to be the correct size, and if I feel the uh, the wobble on them, it's, it's pretty much non-existent. So what I'm thinking is, the noise I'm hearing is this uh, fan, both fans, just wobbling and uh, hitting something, either maybe the heat sink or maybe something internal to the fan or possibly um, the pieces of plastic that hold the fan onto the heatsink, but I'm going to try and replace those. I'm a little bit concerned though, um, even though the size is correct and the um, the orientation uh, of where the screws will go in is correct, this connector does not look like the one that's on the motherboard. So I'm thinking this is just not going to fit in. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart though, just to be sure. Um, so on this video card, you take the fan shroud off with, it's held in by four screws. Okay, and then it's kind of wedged on there. You just have to get under it and loosen it. It comes off. Okay. So the connector, well, the fan is down here. Hmm. Looks like I might actually have to take the entire cooler off to do this. Unless this comes off. And something can connect. Alright, this looks like it might work, actually. So, there's a little extension cable. Um, possibly. That's running over to another part of the, uh, the video card's board. If I pull this out, I can kind of see the connector. I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's coming over here. Okay, so in order to replace that, I would have to actually take off the heatsink as well. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, since I'm taking the heatsink off anyway, let me proceed to turn this thing over and take all the screws out of the bottom of it. So the graphics chip is right under here, and the rest of this is memory and other components. But I should have to take off every single screw on the bottom part, which will allow the heat sink and the fans to all come off in one piece. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All the screws appear to be the same. Oh, by the way, this is a Hitachi cordless uh, screwdriver. And it's got um, a feature to where when you're tightening down a screw, um, it will only tighten it so much before it just spins without applying um, more torque. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to get it. All right, well, that came off fairly easily. Set that there and disconnect fan. So that's the top of the graphics chip. Looks like there's some RAM here. Yeah, it's only a two gigabyte card. It was uh, really nice when I bought it, but that was like three years ago. Okay, so um, let's compare the connectors. They appear to be the same, okay. Um, so what I need to do is <coughs> I'm going to replace this thermal compound. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, to get the fans off, I need to get in here with a screwdriver. And these are different screws from the ones that held on the heatsink, so I'm going to set them 
in a separate spot. There's three per fan. You kind of have to move the fan blades a little bit to get to the screws. Okay, so that should allow the fans to come off. It looks like they're also, the cables for them are being held by a little zip strip. I need to get that off. I'm gonna go grab some wire cutters. Okay, I should be able to get in here and just snip off this plastic bit. Okay. There's one. All right, so make sure we get the orientation correct. Cooler goes just like that. The fan needs to plug in down here. So the fans plug in there. I have to be able to route this cable in a way that it's not going to get in the way. So it generally needs to be like that. So it can kind of go under the heat sink. Something along the lines of that. So that was attached there, but I don't really need to clip this thing down. It's just a matter of getting it under to where it's not going to be coming out of the shroud. So let's see. Go ahead and deal with the thermal compound. So basically I just need to scrape off the old and put on new. It's very dry. I imagine replacing this is going to improve the uh, the heat transfer from the chip. To the cooler, which will help keep the chip cooler. Okay, just like that. I'm going to put a small pea sized amount right in the middle. plenty. So when I put the cooler on, that will spread out to cover the entire chip. So 
this correctly and start getting the screws in and then I'll deal with putting on the screws and routing the cables. Okay so when I let it go the cooler actually fell down so I'm gonna have to kind of hold it from the underneath as I put the screws in. What I'm doing is I'm looking through the holes in the board down through the bottom to align uh, the screw holes. It's not very magnetic. Screws, it's going to be a little bit difficult. What I'm going to do is just get it the screws started in the hole. I'm not going to screw them down all the way until they're all in, at least started into the holes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tighten them all down. And on the four that hold right over the uh, the chip, I'm going to do one corner at a time. Kind of diagonally. Okay, so then the rest I'll just go through and tighten down. all of them yeah okay let's turn this back over and deal with the fans and the cable routing I think what I'll do is go ahead and get the fans uh, screwed into place and then I'll deal with putting the uh, the cables somewhere where they're not going to be getting in the way Disconnect this and put it through this little opening. I believe that's how it was before. Very similar, but these cables aren't exactly the same as uh, the originals. They're a little bit different. Use the screwdriver to move this thing into play, into position. Reach through the fins. This needs to be bent a little bit, the cable, so this will be allowed to come over more. Something like that. screws and see if I can get one started. It's come towards me a little bit and to the right, I think. It's halfway working blind here. Okay, yeah, so up a little bit or away from me and down. Okay. All right, 
that's tight. Go back and tighten up the others. So on this cable, there's not an option to put it through there because it doesn't come loose on either side. Um, I suppose I, if I thought about it, I could have done that before. No, I couldn't. Not really a way. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the fan into place. And then I'll deal with hiding this thing. So could have could I have done that? Hmm. I think I could have done that better. Let me see. Yeah, I could have. Alright. Learn as we go. Okay, so I'll turn this back over. I'm going to disconnect that and disconnect it from the board. So what I should have done is put this cable through there, which will that allow that to come over and be trapped under there. See if I don't, if I leave this cable on top of this piece of, uh, of metal, um, it's very likely the fan blade will hit it. Um, by putting it through the piece of metal down below, that should give me a uh, good clearance. Okay, so cable back on there. Get the sink back into position. I'm going to actually go ahead before I do that and secure this fan down just so I'm not fighting as I'm trying to put the, the heat sink back on. Oop, that's the wrong kind of screw. There we go. Okay. So I need this, and it's three screw holes to align properly. So one there. Okay. There's two. And three. And then we'll go back and tighten them down. connect this cable and then turn this thing over and get the screw holes aligned started. And the reason I'm not using that to power it in is just because it's this is kind of uh, exacting work because you have to align the screw holes in the um, in the cooler with the holes going through the board. So if I'm holding this big thing and trying to get the, the screws in, I would more than likely have a lot more trouble than doing it with a small screwdriver like this. That should hold on the cooler well enough for me to get the other screws in. Okay, so now I'm going to re 
retighten the ones around the chip, going diagonal. Go around, tighten the rest of them. I already did that one, yep. And that's the last one. Okay, so now I need to deal with hiding this cable. It's quite a bit longer than the original, so I need to find places to kind of stick it down and get it out of the way. Something like that. And as long as I can put the uh, shroud over it and they don't come up and touch the fans, that's all that we need. Okay, so this thing goes this way. That's the proper orientation because this little cutout goes right over the power ports. So what I'm going to do is just kind of... The shroud aligned. And push it down. And then kind of just move it around until I can see the screw holes. Let's see there. Here comes some more. Okay, so I see the screw holes there. And just about there. And over here, yeah, looking pretty good. And the cable's going to be nice and out of the way. All right. So. Go ahead and get the shroud screwed back into position. Difficult. Move around just a little bit to get where I can see the screw holes. Okay, there's one. This needs to come down a little bit. It looks like it's close enough in alignment. Let me go ahead and try it. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Turn this over and get the other two in. Oh, yeah. That's just about right. All right, so I'm tightening that down and that one down. These two. Okay. Spin and free and cables are enough out of the way. Good. Right, well let's put this back in the computer. Two power cables. This video card takes a four pin PCI Express and a six pin. All right, go ahead and screw it in. These screws are not magnetic at all.
All right, so I'll get the computer hooked back up and listen to how it sounds. Okay, I've got the card back in the computer, and I've been playing Far Cry 4 for about 30 minutes. There are no clicking noises coming from the computer, which means the replacement fans did the trick. Thanks for watching.